Yo, what's happening guys and welcome to a brand new H1Z1 video. Guys, there's a brand new update coming out for H1Z1 PS4 tomorrow and this update will actually come out on PC next week. Um, so if you guys didn't hear about this yet, basically PC and PS4 are being aligned and whatever updates are coming out on PS4 will eventually come out on PC as well. So um, just to let you guys know, it'll be tomorrow for PS4 and next week on PC. The update's going to be coming out and they're taking the servers down for two hours at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for two hours, which will be 10 a.m. when the servers come back up, and 11 p.m. British Standard Time on Thursday, July 11. So the servers will come back up at about 1 a.m. Uh, in the UK on the 12th of July. In this update, they're adding a new vehicle, the Racer, which is basically a Lamborghini. It looks absolutely awesome. So for the time being, I think this is only going into arcade, but I would say in uh, Season 5, they probably will put this in all the game modes. So super, super exciting. I'm very, very happy to see that there's a brand new vehicle coming to the game. And um, we haven't had a new vehicle since the ARV in, was that season one or season two? It's been such a while, so definitely excited about that. Um, there's gonna be an arcade mode tomorrow, which I'll show you guys on screen. It's called Raining Racers. Now it's quite hard to interpret what exactly this is, but basically you get uh, racer signal grenades, which can call in Lamborghinis essentially. And there's gonna be faster gas rings. So you'll have to get to the safe zone really quickly. Also, the gas rings are going to do a lot more damage. And it says here something about uh, killing a lootable arsenal of deagles, explosive crossbows, and RPGs. So those might be the only weapons that are actually available in this mode. So it's basically, it seems like it's going to be like um, old school H1Z1 when it first came out on PS4. Tons of cars at the end, blowing each other's cars up. It actually might be pretty fun. Um, Deagle obviously does a lot of damage to cars as well. So I think it's going to be pretty insane at the final circle with all these Lamborghinis flying around. Um, do let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for that. But the racer signal grenades are available in every airdrop. And I think you can find them as well. So I will be trying this uh, update out guys by the way. I'm going to be on twitch.tv forward slash ukingplays. There will be a link in the description. Um, or you know go search ukingplays on Twitch. I'll be doing my H1Z1 streams there. And Call of Duty Blackout. Uh, I just want to say thank you everybody who's been supporting the Blackout videos. And the, um, the last H1Z1 video. If you guys aren't aware of what's happening with the new map that's coming, do go on ahead and check out my last H1Z1 video. But moving on here, if you do win a match of solos, it does specify solos, so you little shit who team in solos and arcades. You know, it, it is a solo. But anyway, if you do win a solo, you get this purple helmet. I will show you guys an image of that on screen. Um, it's like a purple skull helmet. Pretty okay. It's nothing too crazy or special, but I'll take it. Um, there's going to be a new crate with a bunch of different Lamborghini skins. So these probably will be coming to, you know, normal game modes. It wouldn't really make sense if they sold skins for these if they weren't coming to normal game modes. The only thing I hope for with the Lamborghini is that it actually has a decent amount of fuel. Um, obviously, if you guys were, know the ARV, um, it doesn't really have a lot of fuel. It runs out of fuel very quickly. Um, hopefully the Lamborghini is on par with the cop car or something similar in that range. And hopefully it's actually faster than the cop car as well. It will be really fun to try that out. But as you guys can see here, there's a white, green, blue like a turquoise, a purple, red, uh, black with an orange stripe, a kind of a navy with a white stripe, orange with a kind of grayish stripe, and a black Lambo. Let me know what Lambo you guys like. If you do buy those crates, it's a no dupe crate, and it offers a rare chance to hit the jackpot, kind of like all of the other crates that they do. Going on to the bottom here, it says, uh, this is the juicy stuff here. It says that this week's update is just a small taste of what's to come. New vehicles, new weapons, and the new map. Headline, a cornopia, cornucopia of new content coming your way next season. So uh, season five, I'm actually just on my, my game here now. Uh, season four ends in 14 days. So they'll probably do like a, you know, 12 month now, nah, like a, a week or two off season. So I would say this is probably going to come out probably early August. If we're really lucky, it'll come out in two weeks. But I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Um, but it is very, very awesome that we're getting new cars, new vehicles. I do want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. What weapons would you guys like to see? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you guys my top three or four weapons that I'd love to see come to H1Z1. So for SMGs, a lot of you guys have been saying there's no 45 ammo SMGs or anything like that. So UMP45 or a vector would make sense. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in a gold variety or what what kind of SMG you guys would like to see. If there was an absolute laser gold SMG, I think I would enjoy that a lot, honestly. I think we're probably overdue a new assault rifle. So maybe a Scar L or something like that. Um, it can automatically two-tap every helmet, four shots everything, just smashes people. A gold assault rifle would be insane. Maybe a G36C, Scar L, M4, M16. You know, you get, let me know what you guys are thinking about that. I'd love to see a brand new sniper, a Barrett 50 cal sniper. 
And what I also thought would be a really cool idea would be to take some of the existing weapons and add gold variety weapons. So for example, take an AR-15, make it like the old AR-15 from H1Z1 on PC, where it like two taps any helmet, uh, four shots, you know, does really high damage at range, um, has horizontal recoil. Maybe give us an AK-47 that's got a lot less recoil. You know, there's lots of cool stuff they could do with weaponry and make it easier for themselves, but, you know, hopefully it, it is a good weapon anyway. If it's another explosive weapon, I'm uninstalling it <laughs> low-key. Low-key, I don't think they will, though. But yeah, guys, that's it. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, go on ahead and drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to be kept up to date with all H1Z1 news and gameplays and all that fun stuff. And like I said, do follow my Twitch, guys. It's in the description. You, King Players, going to be streaming this update when it comes out. And I'm also going to be streaming a lot of Call of Duty Blackout on Twitch. So make sure you guys are followed. And do drop a follow on my Twitter as well if you want to be kept up to date. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. This has been King Plays. Good luck and peace out.